Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a review on a company called Lee Hair. So this is going to be their water wave in an 18 inch, 150% density, and their lace color is a light brown. This is also going to be a 360 wig, and I did a close up on the curl so you can see. So I won't be doing any plucking since it's supposed to be pre-plucked and it comes with four combs total. So I didn't show you all how to bleach because I already have a video out, but I did use the 40 developer and the BW2 bleach. So right now we're just going to be putting in the Dora Honey Brown and you just want to squeeze it all. Like I said, make sure you take the top off girl because you're using all of it. So after I stir around and blend it in, I just stick it in. And I just want to make sure that um, I get everything covered. So you want to leave it in there for about five minutes. And then you want to take it out. And so here I was like, oh man, this is going to be like a dark brown. And so um, I was like, yes, I love this. But of course, when it dried, it looked like this. So I still love it, of course. But as you can see, when I was bleaching my wig, I ended up was talking to my best friend and I forgot and I left the bleach on there too long. Well, the foil, because I did use foil for this. So, as you can see, I have like a light color patch at the top, and I was just like, oh my goodness. But to me, it kind of reminds me of, you know, some of those people that have like a gray patch in their head, and like the rest of their hair is black. And I was just like, oh, once you know, it's going to blend in. It's going to be kind of cute. So, of course, we're using the got to be glue. And so, if you know, if you've been here for a long time, I like to switch between this and the ghost bond. So, in my last video, I used the bolt hole for the first time. And, yeah, so about the bolt hole, usually with the ghost bond, I can use one layer and I'm good to go for at least a week. And with the one layer with the bolt hole, no, it was sliding off by the end of the day. So, I'm definitely going to be trying that again. So, all you want to do is you want to just cut your ears sometimes i could just cut like a slit and then tuck the rest in the back and that's it so sometimes like instead of just cutting it off try that and of course i'm going to give some baby hair so i do <laughs> i get kind of close because it kind of like just disappeared and i was just like where'd it go but <laughs> once i leaned forward i was able to see it and so i did go and i put um a lot of baby hairs because it's curly hair so I feel like a lot of baby hair with curly hair is so, so, so pretty. It's so beautiful. Like, baby hair with curly hair is like a must. Like, if you don't have baby hair and you have curly hair, then what are you doing? But for real. <laughs> so you're just going to, like, cut, and then you're just going to form the rest of the baby hairs. I was using gel. I had tried to use the mousse, but for some reason, the mousse just makes everything so wet. So... If you are having trouble using the mousse, just go ahead and use gel. And so here I am just trying to figure out if I want on the left side, if I want on the right, or of course, if I want it in the middle, I was trying. And the only reason why I was confused was because of that patch, um, the light color patch. So I was just like, man, I don't know what to do. So I did decide to go ahead and just do it on the left side, which came out pretty. And that is it. All you want to do is just use some of your lighter body foam. And then you want to also just use some, um, what was it? Oh, water, just plain H2O. And so <laughs> this is looking so cute. I love this brown color, though. This is so pretty. I'm definitely going to be trying this on a straight wig, of course. And so let's get into the specs about this. So next time, if I decide to do curly, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep it at 30. As you can see, some spots were curling up, some spots weren't. I think some spots just needed a little bit more mousse, but yeah, I didn't really like, I felt like maybe if I would used like a silicone mix or whatever with this, it would have brought the curls like really back to life, but it's okay. Lesson learned. I think I, I just really wanted it to be like a light color because I knew if I had used 30, it just wouldn't have been as light. So this is the final result. This hair does not shed. Even with the, the 40 developer, it does not shed. It does not tangle. You definitely just need to put a lot of product on it. And as you can see, I missed some spots in the back. My bad. But <laughs> I can't see back there. So, yes. And this is the final look, of course. And this is what it would look like in a ponytail since it is a 360. And um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this wig. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.